here we go. Another game of modern. Do, 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 do. Yes, there we go. All right. Again, I, I set mine based on whichever side is away from the camera. And so for this game, I will be right handed. At least it will seem the part. You know what? Let me get myself company. Who needs these shoes? All right, here we go. Let's see who goes first. You know what? We have the phone, but we also have dice. So let's do a poker hand. Let's see what I can get. Three. F okay, full house. <laughs> How do you like that? Insert full house that includes a six here. Uh, alas. All right. So I would like to be on the play. See how this one, this hand treats me. Uh, we can keep it. It's okay, I guess. It's nifty. No. No. Oh, okay. So while you're doing that, then I will take this behind the camera and show them what I have. All right. So this is a good start. I'm gonna start off here. Although. <laughs> this into this is a giveaway anyway, and then you, and then you, and then you. So we're, we're just dealing with straight gas. Straight gas for this one. And in the meantime, here we go. <laughs> All right. So you enjoy that. Whatever, that works. Oh, oh, well, I'm sorry. I did see that one. Yeah. Indeed. I, I did see a fatal push. Alas. Nice tea. I... A nice decorative cup. I'll keep this. All right. Yeah, let can stay there. Alright, so here we go. We're going to go Botanical Sanctum into Ether Vial. Gee, I wonder what I'm playing. Pass turn. Swamp. Falsies. Okay, well, not much I can do about it now. Alright, so we have, for cards you can not take, Cavern, Unclaimed Territory, and then if there happen to be any doubt, Silvergill Adept, Lord of Atlantis. Lord of Atlantis. Alright, fair enough. Take Go out ahead. the raw power. Buy some time. Alright, so I will play Revealed. So that's what I do. Draw a card. I will go Cavern on Merfolk. Mm -hmm. Into... Adept, reveal Kapala, mm -hmm. draw a card, and I will pass the turn. There we go. Whoever puts ads on this free app, they are really Dolphins. making their money on this. Okay. Uh, yeah, the new one is Master of the Pearl Trident, Unclaimed Territory. Uh, Kapala? Take Kapala. Oh, okay, there's a spot removal. Falsies. We're doing it again. Okay. Well, there we go. Um, now I'm in trouble. Two, four, six. Right. Yeah, haven't, you didn't shock yourself, so nope. you're fine. Go ahead. All right, well, now we're in trouble. Now we're in trouble. We will play an unclaimed territory. I'm, I'm just going to always say merfolk, so, mm -hmm. you know, that's fine. We're going to drop in a Miro Reachery. Okay. <laughs> Sorcery speed. Ooh, air bubble. Uh, so that we can get one extra point of damage in. Sure. Hit you for three and pass the turn. One card in hand. Uh, Triple Thoughts. Shock. Last hope. All right. Uh, she can't kill anything right now, I'm afraid, but she can fog a little bit. Target this edit. I agree. 
All right. Go ahead. Gonna keep you on too, buddy. Hey. <laughs> um. Hmm. Let's see. If you're at nine, that's three swings to just straight up kill you. But if you happen to draw some removal to deal with my merfolk, I don't want Liliana to be a problem. Hmm. So, we're going to swing both of them at Liliana. Okay. Uh, she's at four, right? Yeah. She's uh, stuck at one now. Oh, okay. Yeah, because Silvergill is itty bitty. That's right. Yeah. It's all good. And then I will... I'll pass the turn. Triple Thoughtsies. Let's go. Uh, target Rejury. Okay. Ooh. Target Rejury. That'll do it. We're in trouble. Go ahead. Well, if I had only known. A Liliana, Liliana. Mm. La 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 la. Murphy, of mm -hmm. course. Pass turn. Target the uh, It's gone, baby, gone. Uh, go ahead. This is a problem for me. Cavern on Merfolk? Mm hmm. Pass turn. A. Uh, plus to plus. Fair enough. Pass turn. End of turn. Flash in a master. Stop on upkeep. Okay. Path. All right. Fetch. <laughs> I'm doing what I can. <laughs> All right. There's the island. The uh, Phallic Island. Yay for Theros. They even. Whatever. Whatever. And there you go. That art. That art. Okay, so at an old LGS of mine, I drew for turn before I started this. I played a Mutavault, passed the turn, and then went on with my story. I went through their <laughs> land box and asked them if I could go just pick out all of the um, all of the that particular one uh -huh. from Theros out. Go for it. <laughs> so I ended up with 50-something. Forget the exact number, but that's why you see them so so often. Plus to plus. Okay. One card in hand. Yep. Liliana. Okay. Um, plus to four. All right. New legend rule. Yay. Go ahead. Okay. Um... Liliana, last hope. Put her to two. Yep, put her to two. two. Yeah, I'm hitting her for two, so oh, yeah. put her to three. Either of all? Yep. No point in keeping it now. And then pass turn. Um. Yeah, you see what happened. I ended up getting land, land, land <laughs> for a bit.
making some room. Plus to plus. Okay. Plus to five. Sure. I will discard and so forth there. Okay. Um, Animate. Mm-hmm. Uh, hit you for two. All right. <laughs> there we go. So slow. <laughs> <A little> delay. <laughs> My phone may be a little bit old. And go ahead. Okay. My God. Um. That one. Take her to two. All right. Past turn. <laughs> Yeah, with Veil out, there's no point in trying to Veil my intentions. Mm -hmm. To three. Mm-hmm. To six. Okay. I'll discard better Blossom. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Take you up to two, take you up to three. A little switcheroo there. Huh. Well, I don't like that Hellvault ultimatum here. Yep, swinging at Liliana the Veil. Block. That does not work the way I thought it worked. At all. I'm just gonna scoop it here. Okay. <laughs> it was a warping whale, and I could put two damage on it, but that wouldn't reduce its power to power or toughness to one or less. It would just I basically I just had a moment where I mentally inserted minus one, minus one in my oh. head, but that's not how that works. So what I should have done, probably I imagine, is held back and then when you use the Liliana of the Veil, if you used it improperly, if you used it after Last Hope, then I could Warping Whale and keep the creature. Yeah. So, you know. Pro tips. So once again, I don't think they got to see the true spice of my deck in game one, and because of the way I sideboarded, they're not going to see the spice of the deck. So <laughs> this is one of those unfortunate matchups where I take out what I think makes it special. But I have to. All right, so I'll be on the play. Yep. Let's see if we can do this. Hmm. No, not on the play. It's a one lander, and it's not a good land. I will keep this. Oh, and it really would. Oh. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Well, the fact that he can keep. Uh, that's not good. That's not good. Not good. I did see a sideboard card, but one land, wrong land. Mm. Probably a colorless land. It was indeed a, a, it was a muta vault. Mm. Muta vault. Muta vault. Muta vault. Muta vault. <laughs> 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 All right. Makuhita vault. Hariyama. Hariyama vault. All right. Let's try six and a half. See what that does for me. Not a thing. All right. Here we go. Uh, oh, okay, we'll, we'll keep, this is interesting, we'll keep, yeah, I like it, I like it, I love it, Cavern, Merfolk, Curse Catcher, Pester. Merfolk's good. Okay. Fair enough. Merfolk? Hmm. Silvergill, reveal Lord of Atlantis. Yep. Draw a card. I will hit you for one. Yep. And then I'll pass the turn. Pass the turn. Mm hmm. Good old 
Temple Godless Shrine. All right. Expedition Godless Shrine. Play that in prize. I know, I know. Say shameless self-promotion. I do like my format, though. Although, to be fair, you don't need the Expedition one to play it in prize, so that's fine. Is it my turn? Yep. You get in because your cousin Vinny got in. Alright, brutality shenanigans, go. Go ahead. Okay. Oh. Oh. Mutavolt? Mm hmm. Let's see. I think we're actually going to go. Weirdly enough. Hmm. Well, do we just go for more damage? I don't think so. Maybe, though. He hasn't hit me with a hand attack spell, and I'm a little worried about Liliana coming up. So... Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's see. It might be better... Yeah, we're going to stick with a more traditional game plan for the deck. Here's a Mirror Regery. Mm -hmm. And I will swing at you for five. Yep. All right. Hit you to lucky number 13. Triska Decophobia confirmed. Pass turn. Lily, would you like to get out? Please be last hope so it can't kill a creature. Push. How many cards do you have in hand? Six? Six. All right. Hmm. Rip and pepperoni. Should have done that when you attacked, but too late now. Sorry. Um, oh no, it's not your fault. Uh, go ahead. Okay. Well, it paid off doing it that way, at least. Caverns. So the two blue ones on Lord of Atlantis. Mm hmm. I will tap down, or I will, ooh, wait a minute, ooh, you have put your hand down, you have put your hand of cards on the ground, you are not holding them anymore, I've come to take that as a sign that you don't have something you can play here, so given that, I don't know that it's useful to tap down one of your lands, and even if it were, you could tap it in response and do something. If I untap one of mine, though, let's see, that, that is an interesting line of play, can do, um, can untap a land, can actually activate a muta vault, but, and then just have an extra, hmm, yeah, I, I think that's maybe the line we go with. No, no, it's not. We are going to untap a Cavern of Souls. Um, so there is that. And then we are going to. So you're at 13. You can attack, you cannot. So I'm representing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. If I attack with the Mutavault, or I could take the more conservative line. I am going to try out that line. All right. So again, I'm hitting you for six. Okay. All right. Main two. Smuggler's Copter. Okay. Fast turn. Uh, end of your turn. Disenchant. Ooh. Ooh. I was not expecting that. Okay. Um. Yeah, I th don't think it's worth sacking the Curse Catcher here. I think... Wait a minute. Okay, so it's it's fine. Let me just ass do the run the numbers here. That means on next turn, just on what I have on board, I have ten. So you get oh, and that would be wrath insurance. That would be wrath insurance. Because the mutable on its own might not get me there. So actually, it is probably fine to sack the curse catcher here. I still have lethal on board, and then if he has a wrath, smuggler's copter mutable can get me pretty close. So yeah, we'll we'll sack the curse catcher. Okay. All right. So sorry, buddy. You you've done well, but <laughs> yeah, you are in spirit in the copter. Isn't that basically what happened in Ether Revolt? Chandra's Ooh. dad is in spirit in the heart of Kirin. Whatever. Um, yeah, go on. So I think the better line of play here to protect myself from Wrath of God damnation is to keep the smuggler's copter around. Modern playable. All right. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that's good. Regretting <laughs> the curse catcher being gone, but oh well. Okay, Haunter. Yeah, okay. Alright. Ooh. Okay. I guess that this is fine. We are going to play, pay three, get out a mirror regery, uh, trigger. We are going to. Uh, I, I'm debating if I want to be cute about this. Uh, the, the obvious line is tap down one of your creatures and swing for lethal, which I guess I'll do. The un, the cute line is untap gemstone cavern, make a muta vault, and then tap zips. There we go. <laughs> that, that's, that's how that works. And the last one's just another lord, because, you know, merfolk. All right, all right, all right. Show me your moves. Here we go. Just T1 Glistener all things. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Keep. I will keep. All right. Show me what you got. Good. Wait a minute. What are you doing in? Here? Oh, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It works. Uh, Sanctum. Vile pastern. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah. Good. All right. You know the drill. Roll it up. All right. Top deck sanctum. All right. The reason why you cited in disenchant. Chalice on one. Okay. End of turn. Well, not end of turn, but next turn, nuke it. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. That's it. No main phase Aetherval shenanigans yet. 
Gotta flash in that curse catcher. Clearing souls. This would be a time to flash in the curse. Well, no, 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 it's fine actually. Okay, that's good. <laughs> yes, yeah, my friend. Right. It's all, it's all right. Good. So, since they show up a bit more easily, can we use these? Okay. Yeah. Just contrast. That's all. All right. Go to two. Whoop. All right. Let's see. Ooh. 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 Many ways I can play this. Let us... get a little bit of information first. So if we go Adept, and don't let it reveal, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, that's neat, I guess. Uh, we'll go Mutavolt. Mm -hmm. Reedry. Sure. And then I will pass the turn. Right on time, buddy. Right on time. Sword. Ooh. All right, you are the makes your okay. So your minus is the make a token. Okay, cool. That's fine. Yep. Let's say you. I'll I'll get it for you. Plus to five. Yep. Go ahead. Yep, they have they have life link. Plus one plus zero oh in life link, right? Yep. All right. Make sure this works the way I think it works. I don't think it does. Oh, okay. No, it does not work the way I think it does. Okay. Well, in that case, two ways I can go about doing this. We are going to start off with... And yeah, that's intentionally it, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. I would like to put in a phantasmal image as a copy of Mirror Reachery. Yeah, okay, so two. <laughs> I confuzzled myself for a second. So it's it's a Mirror Reachery. So that's step one. Step two is... We are going to... Play a Master of the Pearl Trident. Triggering both regeries. I'm going to do this so we can remember what the image is. We're going to tap down both of your spirits. Okay. Um, then, I'm going to play the saddest curse catcher. It's going to get countered by Chalice, but importantly, it triggers Phantasmal Image. I mean, it triggers Mirror Regery and Phantasmal Image Regery because this counts on casting. So... Yeah, Curse Catcher's going to get countered, but I'm going to get two more triggers, and I'm going to use those to, with the trigger on the stack, we're going to target Botanical Sanctum Mutavault, I think? Well, let's see. Do I want just the extra damage for the sake of extra damage? Uh, I don't think you're quite as necessary this game, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to activate Mutavault, turn it into a creature by tapping it, and then untap it, and untap a botanical sanctum. So cool, you know exactly where this is going. Um, lots, of, lots of things are out. You are summoning sick, you are summoning sick, but you three get to beat face real quick, so 
we're gonna go silver gill to kill the Soren, and then the others are gonna swing at you. So we're looking at one, two, three, five on this one, and then four on this one. So hit you for nine. Uh -huh. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> I, swear, I don't know why it's that slow. It's not been this slow. Um, and then we will pass the turn. Curse Catcher, you did work. You did work, buddy. Insert Wrath of God here. Just, just to tilt me. <laughs> oh, do it. Or Gideon or something. Gideon. Hey! He's going to go eight. All right. Swing two. Well, Shrek Gideon, I suppose. <clears throat> I, I swear. After this, I will check it to make sure. Alright. Um, upkeep. Hmm. I'll keep you at two. Okay, that's neat. I guess. Hmm. Thinking of how I want to do this. I get two triggers. Go one, two, three, untap two. And then that is that is a long term play. That that's what we're gonna do though. We're going to uh Kapala. We're gonna untap Sanctum and Mutavolt from the triggers here. Alright, sorry team, you do what you gotta do. Gideon gets blown up. Um, main phase two, gonna play that smuggler's copter, and then pass the turn. This is a field. This is your field on Merfolk. Swing for two. I'm, I'm trying to figure out where all this is going here. Okay, so there's an obvious trick. He's, he's got something up his sleeve, because he's, he's swinging into a flyer. Um, may I see how many lands you have? It's still five, right? Yep. Okay. I mean, I don't know why I don't do it. We... Sure. Uh, smuggler's Copter. Okay. Um, I can... Just, just throw, throw something in the one. graveyard. Well, it's a May, so... Um, yeah. But since there's nothing for me to discard to filter, I would just be putting it straight in the yard, so I think we're going to skip that here. Right. But now, do you want to take that back? If yeah. there wasn't... Oh, okay. Um, so you take one? Oh, that's right! Okay, that's the reason. <laughs> I didn't know if... Okay, my bad. Second May? Yes. Damnation? There we go. That is indeed a play. All right, I got jabated there. I got jabated. Jabated. That's the reason. See, I didn't even think about that because I mean I did, but because you had already passed four mana, I just didn't give it that much credence, I suppose. And I, yeah, I knew it had to have been a top deck if it was going to happen. Okay. That said, not the end of the world by any means. Yep. Alright. Roll you down. I will play an ether vial and yep. pass the turn. Uh, countered. No, you're right. <laughs> Good catch. Good catch. I caught it on my own curse catcher and I missed it on the ether vial. <laughs> I'm Wait. a visitor. 
Okay, Jay, <laughs> you you just threw that game so hard. You threw that game so hard. Let the copter stay back, Jay. Let the copter stay back. All right, now just to make sure, I know you have some gain and drain or some. It's gain and drain for two, and then the end of my turn. Okay. He blinks out. And you get haste when he comes back. Yep. All right. Um, I, I guess we'll pretend this is still a game, but I'm 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 dead. Um, what's I'm the uh, past turn? Fist of the North Star. You are already dead. Omae wa mo shindeiru. <laughs> yep. Alright. Pass turn. Uh, untap. Upkeep. Control. Uh. I got jibated. <laughs> Ghost quarter. That's that's pretty much game. <laughs> As if it weren't bad enough before. Disenchant. Ooh, okay. Uh, Which is funny given what else is in my hand. Alright, fail to find. Swing for five. Yep. Alright. Good games. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> So if I hadn't fallen for the most obvious trick in the world, I even factored in Chalice on one, because I knew you couldn't push my creature. Like, I thought, okay, so I'm going to activate my creature, and he's going to push it in response, or put path in response. He can't, because Chalice is on one. <laughs> but, you know, you still found a way. So I considered that. I just didn't consider top deck. It's like that time when you did the Imperial Seal and you Ancestor Recalled me. Or not Imperial Seal, Vampiric Tutor. You Ancestor Recalled me and I countered that instead of the Time Fall. It's like, but that card is so good. Oh, whatever. I, I, okay. So, I threw that game. I think it's official. I threw that game. I swear, I'm like, what on earth is going on? What is he thinking? What is he thinking? Does he have a Geth's Verdict? <laughs> All right. So, in any case, that... Jeez. Just take the two damage, Jay. Just take the two damage. <laughs> you know I'm going to be beating myself up about that for forever. <laughs> Nikachu, I have failed you. All right, so two spell skites. Uh, four chalices, which apparently was doing some work. Doing the Lord's work, because it's a merfolk deck. And, yeah, Phyrexian Revoker on Planeswalkers, and yeah, it's in your deck it's Planeswalkers. I could also use it on, um, let's see, I'm trying to think, you don't have anything in the sideboard that comes in, like any artifacts or whatnot, so actually it is just for Planeswalkers in this case. And then Spellskite uh, redirects removal spells to keep my lords alive, and incidentally it hates on in bogles and infect and not really burn actually you'd think it might help against burn and it does a tiny bit but because i don't have many islands in the deck i'm actually just turning lightning bolt from a three mana or a three damage spell into a two damage spell in that in that it's not so good but okay that's uh that's where we're at and then cards i took out i took out three of the images and left one in that's what you saw me gasp about earlier. I was, but I did that intentionally. I still wanted to have one left in the deck, even though it is fragile. Uh, spatial contortion, warping whale. Um, two warping whales stayed in. The contortion does nothing except kill a shambling vent and maybe a token. Not great. Warping whale does almost actual nothing, but I kept two in because they protect me against wrath spells. You know, for if I'm being a confident magic player here, they protect me. All right, there we go. That's that. 